Hello everybody, Glass Half Dead here, and as you might know, I don't normally cover 40k news, or even Kill Team news, because so many other people do it, and they do a pretty good job of it, so why would I bother adding my, my noise to the noise? But Abaddon the Despoiler, yes, that's right, I pronounce it Abaddon, not Abaddon. Take that how you will. He's just been revealed. Abaddon the Spoiler. Right. I don't have a huge emotional connection with uh, the original Abaddon models. I think I actually owned him. Like, years ago. Like, 20 years ago or something. But, uh, I've never really been a big Chaos guy. However. As I may have uh, clickbaity titled this video, or not, I don't know. Haven't decided yet. Uh, I have noticed something that maybe others haven't, don't know, uh, and I thought we'd dive into it, because why not, you got to have content for your channel. Okay, anyway, for those of you that have not seen Abaddon yet, he's here, on, there, he's there on screen, okay? Look at that model. Ooh. So, I think what they've done here is actually really interesting. Uh, I don't have a side-by-side, -side. I haven't been that organised. Um, but they've really taken the original model uh, for, for Abaddon, and they've updated it. They've they've said, Abaddon, great, we like what he is, we like him as a model, but let's update him. They haven't redesigned him, they haven't really changed him much, they've just made him bigger. Oh, hello. Brush liquor. So, I mean, you know, he's still got uh, the, the Drachnion uh, sword. He's still got his claw uh, with the Storm Bolter there. He's just, Ab he's still Abaddon. He's still got, uh, now they've gone Blood Angels. Mm, interesting. Actually, Blood Angel there, and it looks like an Ultramarine there, just because of the blue. However... question for everybody okay this here i first noticed it when you know what we'll come to that in a second we'll come to that in a second let's go through the rest of the pictures uh this is his um oh, what's it called storm talon storm claw power claw power claw maybe it's been a while since i've been into chaos it's a big claw. 10-10 would get clawed by. Nice. This is a Drachnion, the uh, the demon sword. I'll be honest, sadly, my my actual current lore knowledge of what that uh, is supposed to be is pretty lacking at the moment. I do think the paint job they've given it is a little bit interesting. Uh, just in the sense that... So, uh, I'm sure some of you know... Um, Games Workshop has access to some of the, the best painters in the world, I'm, I'm, no doubt. But the actual pictures that they put up for the site is generally, you know, they put up achievable results. And while, yes, you might look at Abaddon and say, oh my god, that's beautifully painted, and yes, obviously it is, they haven't done anything particularly crazy. I mean, there's a lot of edge highlighting, uh, there's a little bit of wet blending. But actually, when it comes to pure techniques, this is achievable. I mean, I couldn't do it. <laughs> I'm a terrible painter. I, I hate painting. But, you know, they haven't gone proper crazy with it. So, anyway. Uh, we also get a nice little size comparison now. He's, well... If you go to the top of the trophy rack there, he is about double the height of a Primaris. So that's big, that's... he's a Dreadnought size. Right? That's roughly Dreadnought size. So he's not massive. He's still going to be smaller than Gwilliman, I believe. Old rowboat. Especially if you then ignore uh, the... If you ignore his, the bit that's not him, the trophy rack which actually looks to be about half his size there. So, you know, he gets an extra 50% of his height from the trophy rack. If you ignore that, 
He's not huge. Anyway, we see the back of him here. Lovely. It's a trophy rack. Uh, it looks like this skull here has something weird around its head. Let's see if we can see what that is. No. But we do see it has three studs. So it's a veteran at least. Um, I don't know what that means in that case. Somebody probably does. But let's keep going because we still haven't got onto the interesting bit. Okay. This was the first image I saw um, when I started clicking through. And I was looking at this and I was seeing, okay, that is, that is a torch. He has a torch on his base. Weird. What does it mean? But then I was trying to figure out what this bit behind him was. Can't quite figure it out from this angle, right? So it's like, okay, well, what's up next? Oh, well, that's just his, his back. Okay, fine. And then, oh, dead space marine. Always nice to see, obviously. And But we see another angle of, of that thing here. And it's not connected to the space marine. But we can't quite tell what it is. Oh, we do see some spent shell casings. That's always nice to see. Definitely. And then we see the final model. Now, actually, beautifully, we have three heads that we can use. We have angry Abaddon. We have masked, difficult to breathe, probably has some COPD or asthma Angron. Angron. Abaddon. Sorry. And we have Stoic, or if you will, Grim, Abaddon. Honestly, I'd probably go with Grim Abaddon, just because I decided to call this face Grim instead of Stoic. And obviously Grim, Grim Dark, Abaddon, pretty Grim Dark. However, we also see a little bit more, now that I've pointed it out to you, maybe you're seeing it as well, because obviously you see Abaddon, you look at Abaddon. But we see this, this in the corner. It's not part of this space marine. Does it look like wings to anybody else? Now, for those of you that aren't aware, Horus, yeah, my, my main man, Horus, killed, I, I'm sorry to bring it up, but Horus killed Sanguinius. I know the wound is still fresh, I know, trust me. Is this? I'm not. I'm not saying this is Sanguinius's wing, obviously, because this isn't Horus. This is Abaddon. But is that a wing? Is that a hint at something? We do have a Blood Angel head up here, so perhaps this is a Sanguinary Guard's wing. But then that kind of doesn't follow because this Space Marine here is clearly um, an Ultramarine. I'm not sure. The, okay, so the thing is, it could just be scrap metal. But you wouldn't just put scrap metal onto Abaddon the Despoiler's base. Right? That's part of the official model. That's not somebody home bashing a scrap ruin base. What is it? I'm just saying, I personally think it is a callback to Horus killing Sanguinius. And perhaps, maybe, who knows, it's going to be a little cool to the Blood Angels. Maybe something new from the BA. I don't know. I don't know. I will point out that I, I got so excited by, by seeing these pictures that I didn't actually stop to read any of the text. So it might very well explain that in the text. And this video is kind of pointless. Uh, moving on. Vigilus Ablaze. Exciting. Now, we do know that this is part two of three, I believe. I believe they've confirmed that. So, this is exciting. We get Chaos coming to Vigilus. We get the new release from the Shadow Spear box, etc. Presumably, then, chapter three in this, in this um, campaign is going to be the sisters. The sisters are going to be rallied, and they're going to come and hit Chaos hard with their stern a stern talking to is i suspect what they will give the chaos however uh so sorry oh let's 
Let's see if we can see anything here that gives us any hints as to what that wing might be. There's nothing there. We do, however, see a nice guardsman here dying. That's quite nice, isn't it? Good. Jolly good. Anything here? Um, that looks to be just a Terminator, not Abaddon. Um, Hall of Fiend. Oh, Blood Angel. Hello. But no wings. Keep going. This is our new Beastie Boy. I'm not really that into him. He looks cool. He could also be a Tyranid. It's an armoured Tyranid, basically, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, and then we get a new Havoc. Now, this guy knows how to bullet. Look at this. What's he? What's going on here? I've got to say, I actually quite like this model. Um, anything with a big gun, just so that when your enemy's coming at you, they see the size of your gun and they say, wow, I am so sorry to hear about how small your penis is. I, I didn't know. I, you know. And so you actually end up killing them because they are too busy consoling you on your tiny penis. So, you know, cool gun. Yeah, cool gun. And that's me with my random conspiracy theory about a blood angel wing possibly giving us a hint at blood angels and sanguinius. I don't know. I don't know. I just got excited because this is Abaddon with a wing, which of course you instantly then think of Horus with Sanguinius. Anyway, this would be Glass Half Dead. What do you think of the Abaddon miniature? I think they've actually done a brilliant job. I like that they updated it instead of redesigned. I wish that they would do it for a lot of their models, actually. Like, seriously, just keep going with the redesign, guys. Update the models. Glass Half Dead. Signing off.